first let's take a look at uh, the CISA. And so uh, of those 145,000 members uh, of ISACA, about half of them have the CISA certification, Certified Information Systems Auditor. Uh, and as you can see, it is the gold standard for audit, control, and assurance. Uh, many different organizations require it in order to be able to deliver certain types of capabilities and reports. Uh, in, and in addition to moving up to higher levels uh, within those organizations. One of the great things about being a nonprofit is that we play nice with all the organizations in the industry. So we continue to update uh, with information from all of the top organizations uh, in the field so that uh, it's always current. The CISA, for example, was just updated in 2019. We see over on the right-hand side, these are topics that are interesting to you. Uh, information systems auditing, governance and management of IT, information systems acquisition, development and implementation, information systems operations and business resilience, and protection of information assets with a major emphasis on data uh, as, as is appropriate in the world that we live in today. If these are topics that are interesting to you, we'd strongly recommend for you to take a look at the CISA and see what this can do for your career. And so let's talk about some of the numbers behind the CISA as well. Uh, so what we see, this has been around since 1978. Uh, there's currently uh, been 151,000 of these CERT holders um, over the course of the existence of this certification. Uh, we see what the average salary looks like, so a terrific number. And you're here because you're interested in learning about the top paid um, certifications in the industry. Certainly qualifies for the CISA. Um, we also see that 22% potential pay boost for the typical person that acquires this certification. Uh, we also see some great numbers, 52% say their expertise is more sought within their organization as a result. 45% have implemented efficiencies in their organization because of what, of what they learned going through the process of getting their CISA. Um, it is designed for entry to mid-level IT professionals and internal auditors who audit for information security compliance or engage in risk and compliance. I would say that even though it does call out internal auditors here, I would say consultants make up a big part of the audience of the CISA as well. Um, and you can see listing out some other capabilities. I'd like to pause here for a moment. If you do have questions about the CISA, please put them in the chat towards Jeff, uh, or you can put it out to everybody. I'm now reading these things in the moment. So Jeff, I'll turn to you. Do we have any questions about the CISA from our audience yet? Um, yeah, we have a couple of questions coming in and I, yeah, I encourage everyone to, to, answer, to ask any, any questions that you have, put them in the, the question panel there. Uh, but the first question we have is uh, someone said, you mentioned that some organizations require a CISA in order to sign off on specific reports. Uh, can you let us know like what types of reports and which organizations you're referring to uh, about that? Yeah, great, great question. Uh, so let's talk about the organizations first. Um, so ISACA is highly tied in with the big four accounting firms, right? So that means PwC, Deloitte, EY, uh, and KPMG, uh, as well as the what we call the mid-tier 15, uh, the next uh, terrific auditing organizations uh, that we work with um, regularly and, and who continue to have this symbiotic IP exchange with ISACA to make sure that these are all cutting edge. Uh, so those are some examples of the organizations that are very commonly places that you would find CISAs. Um, as far as what types of reports, uh, typically this has to do with IT audit reports. So similar to on your typical audit report where you would need a CPA to be able to sign off on that, uh, within IT audit, uh, many of these organizations require someone to have a CISA or equivalent uh, which includes one or two other different options that are out there, including certifications from uh, the Institute of Internal Auditors, the IIA, right? Uh, so those are just a few examples of the types of reports that are uh, that a CISA can sign out, out, off on, uh, as well as in many of the organizations that I mentioned, in order to be promoted to a manager level and above, you need to be able to demonstrate certifications, including the CISA. Great question. Yeah, yeah. We have a few more questions coming in here. Um, Cyril is asking: Is 
CISA relevant for someone who wants to make a career in the SAC? Definitely. Uh, yeah, great question. So for somebody that's looking to make a career in the SAC, uh, CISA is a great solution. I would also say there are other ISACA certifications that are appropriate for that too. Most commonly, we find people taking the CISM, the C-I-S-M, for those that are looking to build out their career in the SOC. Um, and that's the Security Operations Center for anybody that might not be familiar with that piece of lingo. So SOC means Security Operations Center. So as you might take the, uh, you, you do need the ability to deliver on both audit and security in order to have an effective SOC. And so both of those certifications are a great way into that part of the organization uh, to build out your career there. And we certainly know companies are investing heavily in their stock today. Yeah, we have a couple of questions related to kind of career tracks. So I'll, I'll combine them together. Uh, one person's asking if there's any suggestions um, for certifications in business continuity and any ways in which a business continuity professional can enter into the information systems auditing profile. And then another question, uh, someone has 10 years in banking experience and is looking to change their career track and wondering which certification is, you know, kind of the best sort of easiest transition from, from banking into, into this type of role. Yeah, so those are great questions. And I would definitely take a look back at the previous asset around uh, which certification is right for you uh, as the answer to both of those questions, right? And so I do want to just call out, you know, CISA is all about the A audit if you're excited about audit CISA is great for you if audit is not something that you're interested in and maybe you're more interested in risk or governance right um and, and business continuity which is very closely related related to risk and security and governance then it's a question of which of those facets is the best fit for what you're looking for and indeed we do find many people like you said a 10-year career they're looking to make a change that was me too. You know, if you saw the certification that I have, uh, I have what's called a CFA. It has nothing to do with IT. Uh, but here I am in IT because organizations have been putting more of their resources towards their IT focus than they were towards what I was doing previously, right? So it's a great idea. Um, it's something that we see all the time. And these certifications can help you to maintain your same level that you're at in your career while also chaining on, onto a different track into a place where organizations are assigning a lot of their resources. For each person personally, I would recommend take a look at those operative words and then figure out which one of those is most appropriate for you as you look through the content that we have here on the page. Yeah, and then the last question I'll ask, because we want to make sure we save time to get through all the other certifications. Uh, Michelle is asking, what is the pass rate for the CISA? So the pass rate for the CISA, it tends to be uh, in the range of 60 to 70 percent. So that's a historical average. That's what it tends to be today. Um, it is graded on a curve as well. Uh, so it tends to be in that 60 to 70 percent range. So it's a rigorous exam. And it's certainly something that uh, not to take lightly, uh, but that barrier to entry is what leads to all the benefits that we see here on the page, the influence with other organizations, and certainly the compensation that goes along with that.